There are a ton of paranormal photos floating around out there. Many of the photos that you see are easily debunked, or it's clear that the photos were probably altered in some way. Surprisingly enough, the photos that people tend to instantly call fake are either real or some of them are just completely unexplained. But what might also be a surprise is that many paranormal things caught on film are completely by accident, such as this creepy looking photo of a boy sitting in a chair. But what is that thing holding him? Ready to join the Americano team? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. That being said, let's begin. Tantalan Castle Apparition Sometimes photos of ghosts could be real. If you can't disprove them, then who's to say they aren't? There sure are some strange photos of spooky ghosts appearing in places they haunt, and some ghost hunters have actually ended up with some really scary things on photo. The fun thing about most photos of ghosts is that the person taking the photo didn't see or notice the apparition until later, looking at the photos they snapped. It happens quite often, and did so to Chris Aitchinson, who was visiting an ancient Tantalan castle in Scotland. In the photo, a woman can be seen peering out of a stairwell. She was dressed in something older and with ruffles and looked as though it may be some costume. Chris ended up contacting the people at the castle and asking them if they had any reenactments or staff there that day. The castle staff informed him there was nothing like that. Some say this is simply the sunlight glinting off the rocks in the stairwell, but looking more closely at the photo, it sure does look like a ghost. What do you think? The Sefton Church Spirit Sefton Church is found in Merseyside, England and was constructed in the 12th century. It's just another old creepy castle in England complete with its history and its ghosts. The photograph in question was taken in 1999. The strange thing about this photo is that it's black and white and in the photograph can be seen a shadow of a man who looks a lot like a priest holding an open book. It's actually believed that the ghostly figure is a former church minister because of the black priest's attire. This photograph was also featured in a book called Real Ghosts, Restless Spirits, and Haunted Places by Brad Steger. The story is that the photographer and his companion were inside of the church and neither one of them had seen anything paranormal. An interesting thing is that there's a pub next to the church which is haunted by a man wearing a sailor's uniform. Perhaps this is the same ghost that haunts the church, but this blurred ghostly figure remains unexplained to this day. The Space Ghost the photo of the Solway Firth Spaceman, which was taken in 1964, is still a photograph that is hotly debated. The photo was taken by Jim Templeton, who was taking a photo of his young daughter. Little did he know that this photo would start a huge subject of debate over the UFO believers and the non-believers alike. As in most photos, he didn't notice what he had taken until he had the photos developed. In the photo of his smiling daughter is another figure in the background who looks as though they're dressed in white and wearing a helmet, just like a spaceman. While some say that the photo could possibly be his wife and he just didn't notice, there are still others that believe that some spaceman was really there and was captured on film. One interesting thing to note was that a couple of years later, a missile launch was cancelled because apparently two of these space ghosts appeared and then vanished at the launch site. So maybe the Solway Firth spaceman is real after all. Maybe it's possible that we may never know. Myrtle's Plantation Ghost as we mentioned earlier, sometimes something strange and unexplained is captured in a photograph by accident. In 1992, a proprietress of the Myrtles Plantation was out taking some photos of the building for insurance purposes. The insurance company needed photos that showed the distance between the two buildings, which would aid the underwriters in rating a fire insurance policy. However, what ended up in between the two buildings was quite a surprise and shock to everyone. In the black and white photograph, there appears to be a slave girl standing between the two buildings. A National Geographic Explorer filming crew determined that the photograph definitely contained a ghost. Some exterior boards of the mansion were clearly visible through the body of the ghostly apparition. National Geographic ended up using the photograph in their documentary and suggested the photo be made into a postcard. It is now known as the Chloe Postcard and is unexplained. 
The photograph was studied by a professional who can verify that the figure in the photograph has the correct size of head, shoulders, and height to be human. If you're looking for evidence of ghosts, this could be it. Granddad's Chair It makes a lot of sense that ghosts are likely to hang around the places that they spent the most of their time while they were still among the living. In this next photograph is a photo taken of a child whose grandfather had passed away just a few weeks before the child was born. About six months later, while the child and the mother were visiting grandma, the mother and grandmother saw that the child had crawled up to grandpa's chair. The mother then decided to put the child in grandpa's chair and take a photograph for the sake of nostalgia. However, it appears that grandpa's ghost had other ideas and can actually be seen holding his grandson and posing with him in the photograph. Many experts have looked at the negatives and they were examined to see if it was possible that the image bled through from another photograph, if that's even possible. But from what it looks like, Grandpa's still hanging around his home and enjoys sitting in his chair. So you tell us what you think about this photo. Is it real or not? A ghostly sighting of a monk at Tintern Abbey. Urban explorer Rosie Bolton was taking some photographs of Tintern Alley in Monmouthshire, Wales, where it seems she captured something totally unexplained. Rosie was with her friends, and they say they didn't notice anything unusual the night the photograph was taken, except that there was a really uneasy and creepy feeling they all had. In fact, they all felt like something was moving towards them, and so they became frightened and ran out from the ruins. Rosie returned home that night and decided to look over the photos that she took that night. But Rosie was stunned when she was looking through the images and spotted a spooky and ghostly figure standing in front of the ruins. Some believe that this is the ghost of a monk, and there have been many other sightings of monks in the abbey. These current ruins are a mixture of building construction from 1131 to 1536, and in between those years, 1348, which saw the Black Plague wipe out millions of people, including many monks. Gray Man Ghost on South Carolina Beach Some photographs of ghosts are really creepy, especially when they're taken at night. While on vacation, a couple was walking along a pier on a South Carolina beach when they took some photographs of what appears to be a ghost walking along the pier. The couple never believed in ghosts one way or the other, but were definitely shocked by what they saw. However, there is more to this story. Apparently, there's a legend of the Gray Man and his ghostly apparition is supposed to appear on the beach as a warning of an incoming storm. When asked, the couple said they didn't know what it was, and we're not saying it was a ghost or wasn't a ghost, just that it's something strange for sure. The couple's story was even featured on a local news station where they featured the story. So who is the Gray Man, and is this ghost real? Terrified mother photographs ghost lurking behind her son in shocking picture. We mentioned that photographs of ghosts at night are a pretty scary thing, but this next photo shows us that even something snapped in broad daylight can be downright chilling. A woman named Laura Watson was out with her family in a place called Plessy Woods Park. As any mother would, she started taking some photographs of her two children and their cousin Jack who decided to climb up higher in the tree. Laura decided to take some photographs of the kids playing and never noticed anything unusual. That is, until she got home to look at the photographs and noticed someone that wasn't there before. Looking closer at Laura's son, who's standing at the base of the tree, you can see the head and face of someone. But there was no one else there but the four of them and their dog, who didn't see or sense anything either. Had it been a person, surely the dog would have noticed. Some say that it looks like a girl and some say it looks like a boy, but there was no one else there this day. This photo also remains unexplained. Toys R Us Ghost There used to be a show on television that was fairly successful called That's Incredible, where the show would look at extraordinary things. This time around, the show focused on a Toys R Us toy store which had a lot of paranormal things going on, such as dolls leaping off of shelves, balls bouncing down aisles, and children's books falling out of racks. And it wasn't just a few people that experienced the ghost, but also many other people who actually worked at the store. 
The photo in question was taken during a seance held at the store while That's Incredible were filming. The photo was taken with a sensitive infrared camera which shows the group seated together and in the back, a figure leaning against the wall and watching. But the figure standing at the back? Well, no one remembers seeing him or knows who he is. He wasn't there, but the infrared camera picked up the ghostly figure. Pack Horse Bridge Spirit During a vigil on the historic Pack Horse Bridge in the village of Carolgold near Wrexham in northeast Wales, ghost hunters ended up capturing a ghost walking on a bridge, but didn't see the ghost initially. The spooky looking figure in white was only noticed when they went back to look at the footage because most of the time it seems that the camera, and especially if it has special equipment, can pick up things the human eye cannot see. The members of the group who were there to investigate paranormal activity recall feeling uneasy during this time. Other paranormal activity was also recorded called an orb of light, which you can see on the left of the scary looking ghost. Apparently, many people have reported seeing these strange lights around the area. It's hard to make out who the creepy ghost in the photo is, but it's thought that not only one, but three ghosts haunt the bridge. The interesting thing is that a former burial ground exists in the area, and you need to cross the bridge to get to it. The Monk in the Bar A British citizen captured an image inside a bar in England with his cell phone. The figure looked like an alleged monk who was wandering the place. The finding came to Sean Reynolds, and he decided to visit the site called the Rutland Arms to film an episode of his show. While they were recording it, something surprising happened. The ghost was captured again, and the expert had no doubt it was something supernatural. In fact, the director of the episode said everyone was in their positions and that it was impossible for it to be a member of the crew. As you can see in the images, a dark figure peeked through an empty window from a higher floor. Instead of being scared, Reynolds and his crew were thrilled with the finding as this would validate their research. Local people told them underneath the place where they were filming the show, there was a secret subterranean network of tunnels and that apparently, this monk wandered in them. How about that? Do you think it was an act, or was it a real event? Basement Ghost A man appeared unconscious in the basement of a building located in the city of Mumbai, India. The security cameras captured that terrifying fact, and so you don't miss the key moment, we'll give you a clue. Focus your attention on the right side of the screen. As you can see in the images, the boy was talking on the phone. Apparently, the place was alone, and so we assume he didn't pay much attention to his surroundings. Maybe a small paranormal signal would have saved him. While he continued his telephone conversation, he was attacked on the back by a strange shadow. Everything happened very fast. In a matter of seconds, he was lying on the floor. If you repeat the video, you'll see how the ghost slowly moves away while the man falls to the floor. Why did that spirit attack him? There's no answer for that. In fact, when they found the man unconscious, they imagined he'd been attacked by thieves. Upon seeing the security footage, they got a big surprise. However, there are those who think the recording could have been altered and that there was no killer ghost in that basement. Betty, the bartender ghost. The bars of England seem to be very popular places among ghosts. What you are about to see is another spooky evidence. It turns out Reynolds and his crew went to the bar with the intention of hunting ghosts and they did so. At the Outbets bar, you'll see our Reynolds start talking and immediately his paranormal device turned on its alarm, a sign they were not alone. Betty was the old landlady of that place, and the new owners told Reynolds her apparitions were getting more and more constant. The crew tried to make the spirit manifest through her favorite Christmas drink, a Bible signed by her, a candle, and a crucifix. Just at the moment he asked for a sign, one of the cushions moved on its own. And if you pay attention to the Bible, you'll see how its pages moved as well. All this happened without any person being nearby and while his equipment was ringing. Later in this video, you'll see one of his most dangerous cases where he was assaulted and his wife taken by an unfriendly child ghost. Woman attacked by ghost in bathroom. What would you do if you're with your partner and he or she is possessed by a ghost? This horrible situation was lived by two young Americans. They uploaded a video that went viral on social networks. It all started with an argument they were having. The girl got upset because the boyfriend started recording her when she went to the bathroom. What makes us think they already knew there was a paranormal presence in their house, since he mentioned he did it because they told him to film at all times? As you can see, suddenly the door closed abruptly and when it opened, the woman is being held against the ceiling. The moment was very confusing for both of them. She asked desperately for help, but when her boyfriend approached to do so, the door closed again. 
The spirit had dropped the girl on the bath, no matter how high it was. His eyes were glazed, and his gaze was lost until he recovered the rhythm of his breathing. The video ended when she makes a bodily movement, similar to what a spirit does when it leaves the body. Will it be a real story or a dramatization to gain followers? Write us what you think in the comments below. Possessed while grocery shopping The security camera of a Chinese supermarket caught an unusual and spooky event. This lets us know ghosts and evil spirits can be anywhere. As you can see, two women were in the same aisle when suddenly a pack of sheets fell on the floor by itself. The woman, who was closest, came to pick it up and returned it to its place, but couldn't let go of it. Immediately, all her things fell and she began to make strange movements, as if a spirit was entering her body. She writhed and began to scream uncontrollably. Obviously, she called the attention of other people who were there. They didn't hesitate to help her. Since she was screaming and shaking, three young men tried to control her, which we believed unleashed the wrath of the spirit, given that other things in the aisle started moving and were knocked before the entity left the girl's body. In the image, we can see as a strange expansive wave knocked objects that were meters away from the woman. When finally she was still, they managed to help her get up and out of that place. We want to know your opinion. The girl, was she possessed or was everything a big joke? Rebecca's Possession The new Mills Art Theater is located in downtown High Peak, England. With more than 100 years old, we're sure its walls hold more than one scary story. And this couple went to check if it was all true, got a good scare. They entered one of the rooms, which showed a possible sign of paranormal activity in their devices. Rebecca grabbed a spooky-looking doll and started behaving strangely. Her eyes reflected fear, and she asked several times where her mom was. Her husband, worried, asked her if she was okay. She sat down with her head down and gave no answer, so Reynolds decided to touch her and then fell to the ground. You can see she didn't touch him at all. It seems as if an invisible force had told him to leave her alone. Look closely. You can't see her doing any physical effort. Sean said that when he got close, he felt a very strong static charge, so powerful that it pushed him backwards without him being able to do anything. After several minutes and the intervention of another member of the team, the ghost left Rebecca's body. Haunted Hotel This video became very popular on social networks. Sometimes, people who are attacked by paranormal phenomena aren't even aware of their existence. What makes this experience worse is that the victims don't understand what's happening. In this case, the security cameras of a hotel in Malaysia showed the recordings that part of the facilities were haunted. At this moment, you sure see a woman who is sitting while watching her cell phone. Everything seems to be normal until one of the chairs on the table at the back moved by itself, and we think it was the noise it made which caught the attention of the woman because she started looking back nervously. But for this ghost, it wasn't enough, so it moved a chair that was in front of her and her reaction was to run to the other side of the room. And that's not all. When she tried to flee, the spirit moved chairs and tables to block the exit. Do you think she fell unconscious due to paranormal activity? Or was it really someone moving the objects? Tell us what you think in the comments down below. The Shadow A man walked relaxed down the hall of a hotel when he was intercepted by a strange shadow. These images went viral on YouTube. Because of the conditions of the recording, in addition to what happened in it, experts in the paranormal field affirmed it could be authentic. The dark figure without an explicit form could be a ghost or even a demon. The spirit pushed the man until he fell to the ground and then dragged him by the right foot. It took him to the middle of the corridor, then left him lying down and went on its way until vanishing. The victim was left in a state of shock for a few seconds, and it's no wonder. When he reacted, what he did was to flee from the place, very scared. So far, the identity of the person who was attacked by the strange phenomenon isn't known. With everything we've seen so far, we can be sure these events are real, since there are many people who have experienced something similar. One of the scariest things about it is that this can happen to you anytime, anywhere. Haunted Stairs To prove what we've just said is totally serious, we bring you this footage recorded by the security camera of a staircase. Yes, in a place as common as that, you can be attacked by a paranormal entity. As you can see, two young people came down the stairs when one of them is intercepted by a shadow. In the images, it's possible to distinguish quite well when it's placed on top of him and begins attacking him. He falls to the ground, and his companion seems to be in shock for a couple of seconds. He started to drag him back, but the shadow is still on top of him and doesn't let go. As he could, he helped him to get out and they quickly climbed the stairs. After this, the shadow vanished and it couldn't be seen in the video again. If you look at it, paying close attention, you can see how the shadow has the same silhouette to that of a person. We imagine they won't go back to that place anymore. Because of the quality of the video, some people said it was only a joke to go viral in social networks, but to us, it seems quite real.
Anderson Hotel Mystery. In Kentucky, USA, a hotel has earned a reputation as one of the most haunted buildings in the world. According to local people, the building has been possessed with demons and ghosts of people who died in that place and refused to abandon it for over 30 years. Its history is full of harsh situations such as fires and suicides some guests committed in that place. So the owner called a pair of paranormal investigators who would seek out in 72 hours all the evil spirits living there. With their special equipment, they began to search all the rooms, until the alarm went off on one of their devices and confirmed the presence of a paranormal entity. They commented they were asked to leave several times, as they didn't do so. The ghost hurt a crew member. In the images you're seeing, the cameraman crouched in pain. Immediately, the others began looking for the source of this pain, and they got it. A bite. Can you see it? This is proof that something is wrong with that place. They kept on with the inspection, but to this day, the Anderson Hotel is still haunted. Have you seen or heard anything similar to this situation? Or have you ever thought that maybe you're surrounded by spirits without knowing it? Tell us in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.